This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, light emitting diodes as an electronic component are very often used in electronics devices. There are many different types with specific characteristics such as forward voltage and maximum current. Most often it is necessary to connect them to a higher voltage where it is necessary to connect a series resistor with a certain value. The device described in this video is a useful tool for testing and determining characteristic or characteristics of LEDs as well as a calculator for calculating the series resistor depending on the connected voltage. The idea for this project was uh, taken from Dave's Co Dave Cook's model processed with an Arduino from JCAR Electronics and I made some changes to the code where I uses an I2C LED display and dedicated buttons to control the device instead of an LCD keypad shield. The device is very simple to build and consists of several components. Arduino Nano microcontroller, 16 on 2 LCD display with I2C communication protocol, 7 resistors, one capacitor and four buttons. And now let's see how the tester works in real conditions. When turning on, the display appear previously defined values for the current and voltage to which the LED would be connected, namely a current of 10 mA and voltage of, of 14 volts. With no LED attached, uh, it will not show a resistor value and current value blinking. The upper buttons can be used uh, to set the current that flow through the LED in the range from 1 to 20 milliamps. These are values that in most cases cannot cause the damage to the LED. The lower buttons set the value of the voltage to which the diode would be connected through through a series resistor in a real circuit. This voltage can be set from 1 to 99 volts and the display then shows the required resistor value depending on the selected voltage and current. Also on the lower right, pa uh, right part of the display appears the code of that resistor under which we can buy it in JCAR electronic shop. Now we need to connect an LED between the test layers and the LED width will light up. If by mistake we connect the diode with reverse polarity, the diode remains functional, it just won't light up. Now the display uh, will show its characteristics operating from a 40 volt supply and 10 mA. This is our chosen current, forward voltage of diode, current through diodes uh, in this case and value of the resistor if we can connect the diode on 14 volts. If we increase the voltage, resistor value changes. Uh, for example, for 24 volts we need 
kill ohms resistors. Uh, if we decrease the current, resistor value increases. For 7 mA, 24 volts, we need 3.3 kilo ohms resistor. And this is resistor code on the JKR Electronics shop. In the following, I will test several different types of LEDs. This is high brightness warm white LED. At 12 milliamperes, 3 volts forward voltage. Uh, to use with 14 volt, we need 560 ohm resistor. 3 millimeters green LED. Five millimeters red lead, this is eight millimeter high brightness warm white lead. At 12 milliamps, 2.9 volts forward voltage, and we need 560 ohms for to connect resistor to connect this diode on 14 volts. On 9 volts, 330 ohm. High brightness Piranha LED White two point six volts forward voltage at ten milliamps. And two point seven and twelve milliamps. To connect this diode to the to nine volts, we need three hundred and 30 ohms resistor. 10 mm big white LED. Forward voltage 3.1 volt at 20 milliamps. 3 mm blue LED at 10 milliamps. With forward, vol forward voltage at 2.7 volt. To connect this diode on 24 volts, we need 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. 3 mm yellow LED on 10 milliamps. If the resistor would dissipate more than half a watt, a P flash is on the top line to let you know you might need to choose a more powerful resistor. And now follow the way in which this device is made. 